the number of different ways 52 cards can be arranged. There's obviously a lot. The top card could be any card, so there's 52 different possibilities. Any remaining cards can follow, so there are 51 possibilities for the next card. 50 for the third spot, 49 for the fourth, and so on. Multiplying all of these numbers together gives us how many unique ways 52 cards can be arranged. 52 factorial is a gigantic amount. So large, in fact, every time you shuffle a deck of cards well, smoosh it for a few minutes or riffle it seven or more times, chances are you have put those playing cards into an order that they have never been in in the entire history of cards, or humans, or the universe. Seriously. This is because 52 factorial is 8.0658 times 10 to the 67th. In comparison, the observable universe is only about 10 to the 18th seconds old. Even if you had been properly shuffling a deck every single second since the universe began 13.7 billion years ago, you still, to this day, wouldn't have even come close to assembling every arrangement possible. But even that doesn't paint the whole picture of just how big 52 factorial is. Scott Cheapiel wrote what, in my opinion, are some of the most mind-boggling visualizations of the size of 52 factorial. Imagine setting a timer to count down 52 factorial seconds. While the timer runs, stand on the equator and wait. One billion years. After a billion years have passed, take a single step forward and then wait another billion years before taking a second step, and so on. Once you have walked all the way around the Earth, take a single drop of water out of the Pacific Ocean, that's five hundredths of a milliliter, and set it aside. Now continue walking at a rate of one step every billion years, removing one drop after every journey around the entire Earth, and by the time the Pacific Ocean is completely empty, put a single sheet of paper on the ground refill the ocean and keep going until the stack of paper reaches the sun. At that point, how many seconds will be left on the timer? Will it be zero, a few hundred, a few billion? No, there will still be eight times 10 to the 67 seconds left. You have barely made a dent. If you start all over again and do that whole thing a thousand more times, you will only be a third of the way done. Luckily, Scott has a great idea for how to pass the rest of the time if you're bored of paper and water and walking. Instead, he says, deal yourself five cards every billion years. When you finally deal yourself a royal flush, buy a lottery ticket. If the ticket wins the lottery, throw a single grain of sand into the Grand Canyon. As soon as the Grand Canyon is completely full of sand, remove one ounce of rock, that's about 28 grams, from Mount Everest. By the time Mount Everest is leveled, take a look at the clock. This is what will be left. Do the whole Royal Flush Lottery Ticket Grand Canyon Mount Everest thing 256 more times, and then, and only then, will your timer have reached zero. That is how big 52 factorial is. It's pretty big. But now think about this. The number of possible people, the number of different humans there could be, is, well, even larger. What that means is that even though you will probably die, most people, including possibly the smartest or funniest or most annoying, possible person won't even get to die like you do. They won't even get to be born. So, I'm glad you were. And as always, thanks for watching.